Hello everyone, this is Nick Newman here with RPG Mastery, and today's episode is about um, working on this dwarf paladin um, that uh, was posted on Reddit. Here we go, let's see, this is for Chef Hef. Uh, gonna submit anyway and cross my fingers. Dwarf paladin, half plate armor, no helmet, and has a dark red beard and mohawk with light orangish highlights. He has minor earth elemental familiar, which he treats as his squire. His weapon is a cross between a war hammer and a battle axe, like this. And he shows this little picture, which I've already seen. Um, so, in the beginning, uh, I'm not really a weapons and armor expert, so half plate, I actually never paid attention to what half plate armor was. And apparently, it's just like full plate armor, but without like legs uh, basically so it's got uh, the upper chest that's going to be full plate and then kind of the um, the pelvis that'll be covered in some kind of armor it some of them have uh, what looks to be kneecap uh, like plates and of course like boots so uh, that's basically what I I did and I started off with a reference that you saw earlier in the video um, I do think uh, this practice is helping me quite a bit. Just in the last week, I've, I've gotten quite a bit better. Uh, I've been studying again, like I said, every single day. Uh, currently, I'm trying to learn from Jim Lee, which is a, a really popular uh, comic book artist. Uh, and uh, I guess he's like head of DC right now, but he has a Twitch stream, which I've been learning and drawing along with. It's always nice to have somebody I watch videos of people drawing in the background so I can learn uh, with them so I don't feel like uh, alone. So <laughs> but uh, I was really excited to do this guy here. Uh, I've never drawn a dwarf before so basically I figured uh, they're just like normal people without that midsection <laughs> so you just basically take a normal, uh, normal anatomy, normal proportions, uh, kind of broaden the uh, chest. Uh, broaden the shoulders and kind of cut out that midsection so he has almost um, complete uh, or almost normal length legs here of course I shortened them as well um, but uh, it was quite easy for me to pull this off I've been trying to learn how to draw and kind of uh, uh, imagining 3d shapes in my head so that is help but it is a serious serious challenge so Again here, everything other than the Warhammer that um, Chef Hef showed um, and uh, the reference to the half plate armor, because I want to make sure that I knew, I understood what that was. Uh, I did this without it, without reference completely, so I do think I'm progressing, which I will give myself kudos for. This is much better than the first two videos that I did, and hopefully I'm just progressing it better and better. I am thinking about dabbling in creating paintings instead of doing this, which basically what I would do instead of creating line art is lay down layers of paint. Uh, with hard contrasts to kind of create lines and whatnot and then to just kind of cake it on over and over again um, This you this video only took me an hour and 30 minutes to do which I was really proud of because The last couple of videos have taken me like about two hours a piece to do um, Here we are I really like the design of this character. I love the idea here. I am checking to make sure I get everything right um, I really love the idea of a dwarf with a mohawk. <laughs> it's really savage in my head, and it kind of—I think it kind of turned out to be quite savage in this picture. Um, the weapon—I would be nervous if I had a weapon like that because I would be worried that I would fall forward and trip and then kind of like slice myself open. <laughs> but it is a cool weapon, and I imagine you can switch between blunt damage and. Um, piercing or what is it slash damage yeah here I am trying to lay in light so I've gotten a little bit better at light and shadow not too much better I still have to practice a lot uh, and basically I'm struggling trying to create art that I'm trying to push past the the phase of creating uh, flat 2d symbols and push myself into creating kind of 3d models um, which is quite difficult, but I am tr practicing every day, like I said, uh, and um, 
it's very inspirational seeing a lot of artists just be able to do stuff like this without reference and that's kind of my dream is to be able to just create anything from my head so in a way I feel like I've accomplished that goal um, because I'm able to do this stuff for people but I really want to get um, a much much better that way and still keep the allotted time limit that I have because again uh, I don't want to spend you know um, five or six hours creating a perfect piece every time I have to create art I would really like to be able to push something out um, yeah, and and to tr help build my confidence, you know, to the point where I can be confident in my strokes of my brush and whatnot. Um, here, here we go. He's got the orange highlights in that beard there. Pretty savage. <laughs> um, the only thing I don't like about an orange beard is that when you spill blood on it, no one can tell it's bloody. Or maybe that is blood. Ha 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 ha. I don't know. <laughs> so, um... This is Nick Newman with RPG Mastery. I still plan on doing a lot more of these. Uh, basically what I'm going to do, if you're listening to this video now, um, the first person to comment in the comment section today, or whenever, whoever finds this and follows it all the way through, the first person to comment, um, go ahead and just say hello, and then post another comment and give me a detailed description of a character you want me to do, and I'll do the character for you. Um, as kind of like a thanks. Also, you got to be subscribed or, or else I won't do it. So, um, thank you guys uh, very much for, for allowing me to use your characters to create something uh, interesting and amazing. Um, here we are. This is the final product. Thanks. Uh, this is Nick Newman with RPG Mastery. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more. All right.